In Nano 2 Hybrids, we're aiming to make a real difference in huge refineries like this one, and on big oil platforms, and on garage forecourts, in fact anywhere where there is exposure to benzene gas. Benzene is the product of the oil industry and it's dangerous. Escaping benzene causes major explosions. It's a serious fire hazard. But the exposure to benzene causes cancer and that happens at very, very much lower concentrations than those which cause explosions. Over the past decades, the safety limit has been reduced and reduced. Now, the safety limit for a worker here is one part of benzene per million parts of air, one ppm. That's the maximum a person can legally expose to in a refinery like this. In the near future, that safety limit is going to come down substantially down to parts per billion, PPB. The problem for providing safety for the workers is how to detect such low levels of benzene. Now we are going to show different detectors that uh, we have on plant, uh, depending on the detection level. This is for detect benzene. Y aromáticos and aromatic compounds en uh, el orden de, de PPBs. On the level of the PPBs. Eh, sí. so, este es otro modelo. Este modelo es. Esto, este es distinto. Este sí es selectivo. Now this is another model that this is uh, selective for benzene. Y este otro es un detector de tipo PID. And this is one, another PID detector. Pero tiene una, the problem una is, these instruments are expensive to buy and also to, to use. There's a filter that has to be replaced for every measurement. The cost means that there are few on site. I want to tell you something about history on gas detection. For example, uh, lots of years ago, uh, on mining, uh, they use uh, different kind of uh, detectors, or what we call detectors. Like here, you can see the, the canaries. And the signal for the presence of poison gas was that the canary fell off its perch. Uh, Japanese mouse, which is a mouse that detects the absence of oxygen. He slowly his movements. Changes in the color of the flame of a miner's lamp showed poisonous gases were present. One of these guys, uh, his job is to look all the time the color change. These are the sensors used on the past. For example, well, those three are uh, flammability detectors. These meters come from a time when the only requirement was to prevent explosions from benzene. They're not sensitive and they didn't need to be. They measure in parts per hundred. This is the best on the market today, and it measures down to 50 parts per billion. It's used in the refinery, but it's expensive, it's cumbersome, and it's complex. This is what uh, our new detector will look like on size, and this is our secret weapon, which is the carbon nanotube sensor decorated with metals. We begin the construction of our sensor by putting two electrodes on a chip. They fit into each other, like combs. This is one, and this the other. The nanotubes are sprayed onto this central area. Their resistance is measured as they bridge the gap between the electrodes. Nanotubes, already decorated with metal clusters, are mixed with the liquid. That's sprayed onto the chip. Then it's sent away to be mounted on a frame, and the fine wires connecting the chip to the pins are put on. We're going to put it into an electron microscope and zoom all the way into the nanotubes. We start with an image of the chip 
its pins and the connecting wires. You can see some of the nanotubes in the mat that bridges the electrodes. This sensor should be a hundred times more sensitive than any on the market today. But it's not ready yet. We're now at the stage of extended testing. We put the sensor under a small white chamber and connect it up so it can experience very dilute benzene and other gases. There are some problems to overcome. One is the long time for it to react to the benzene before it develops a signal. We have to deal with that. Monoxide carbon also. But when we get there, it will be the very last word in sensitivity to benzene. We think its first use will be in a refinery. Si al finalizar este proyecto y los trabajos que se están desarrollando llevaran a poder eh, tener o poder fabricar un equipo que fuera um, tamaño de un teléfono y a un precio entre 300 y 600 euros, si esto podría cambiar de alguna manera la forma en la que se trabaja en una refinería de este tipo. Evidentemente. Of course. Evidentemente. But with all our efforts, we're not going to be the best. Some of nature's sensors are much better than ours. It's surprising, but the dog's nose is more sensitive than any other detector we can produce. <laughs>